Well, Nogales is preparing for an influx of asylum seekers when Title 42 ends tomorrow night. But as Kagan 9 on your side's Craig Smith reports, no one is quite sure what will happen as the restriction on asylum seekers ends. This is one of the places people and policy could collide when Title 42 lifts. This is one of three controlled border crossings from Mexico into Nogales, Arizona. You're looking at Mexico bound traffic now. The thing we are trying to figure out is what is a clear picture of what all this will look like once Title 42 really does lift. For now, border traffic in Nogales looks about normal, but there's a lot of suspense about the moment Title 42 enforcement stops and uncorks three years of pent up demand. We're still waiting to hear what the federal government is going to do. And that's right after Santa Cruz County Supervisor Manny Reese came out of a briefing with CBP officials. He hopes to avoid a wave of people trying to cross all at once. He says CBP has urged asylum seekers to use the CBP One phone app to make organized, orderly appointments. But asylum seekers complain the app is buggy and appointments are scarce. Supervisor Reese says instead of military, He'd really like to see a surge of immigration judges to allow quick rulings on asylum claims. As a human being, we, we understand, or maybe we don't understand, what many of these families are going through. So we have to have a little bit of compassion. But at the same time, when you don't have the resources that are there to really help provide a, a better shelter or a better way of, of, of addressing some of their needs, it makes it very hard. All asylum seekers are being urged to come through the Deconcini port and avoid the Mariposa cargo port. It handles a large share of the fruits and vegetables that wind up on your plate. Port Authority Chairman Jaime Chamberlain says he's confident the immigration issue will not affect the flow of cargo. I think Customs did a fantastic job during, during COVID. Um, they were very, very stressed with not a whole lot of staff and they never shut down a commercial port, a commercial lane which was very, very important to the continuity of, of international trade. And I think they'll do the same thing if they encounter any issues here. But there's still that suspense about what will happen the moment Title 42 no longer applies. In Nogales, Craig Smith, KGON 9, on your side.